Alrighty folks, so what I'm doing here is adhering the heat tape, the three inch heat tape into the side of the incubator using aluminum foil. All my connections are made already. All I used for this project was a piece of 12 inch heat tape and a whole ring of three inch heat tape that went around the whole interior. Super simple. Uh, what's up Girl Scouts? Uh, quick little how to on get yourself a little incubator. Um, this little fridge or can whatever soda pop cooler um, was only 30 bucks. We found it on like offer up, super simple. Um, has a glass viewing door, which is super sick. Um, all I did was gut this. It took me less than 15 minutes to take out the compressor, pull out the bolts. Um, as you can see, it's all empty. And that's about 50% of the weight. Now, I wanted lights in here too. Quick uh, thing about that, I wired these separately. So one that's not connected to the thermostat, it's ran by itself. And two, um, if you are gonna run it to the thermostat, kind of not a good idea because the best um, thermostat setting would probably be the pulse or dimmable. But um, if you have the pulse like a VE200, um, that's gonna pretty much ramp it up and down, make sure it's always steady, not off and on where you lose a couple degree variance. Uh, when it comes to temperature like fluctuations, uh, it's very bad when it comes to leopard geckos. Um, granted, they can tolerate a lot, but you don't want it fluctuating at all. Uh, if you wanna be like a perfectionist and just cut out any possibility of any defects or anything like that. But, Super simple, three inch heat tape all the way around. Initially, I put in the 12 in the back. Let's just pull out this shelf real quick. I can show you how I did this. Um, wasn't even like trying to care so much that it looked nice. I just wanted to make sure this didn't have any leeway, any um, bubbles, cause then your heat tape is gonna be kind of shot. But um, this is kind of coming all the way up to right here. I have two connections right here. They split up and come to this little three inch. This goes all the way around and back up out there. And these coolers, the ones that have compressors, especially not your wine coolers, wine coolers keep it around room temperature. Um, but these actual ones that refrigerate things, they come well insulated. I'll show you a picture of the inside of the hole. Uh, we'll put it up right here and also um, I just used expanding foam, filled that right back up after I put these through and I was gonna use black silicone to cover this, but honestly, there's no need. I just put um, electrical tape in there and then there's heat, uh, the metal foil tape and then the electrical tape over that. And then the lights will touch that once again. Um, you don't wanna have that on all the time, uh, for me anyway. Uh, I'm only gonna turn this on when I wanna look in here, see if I can see any mold, any containers that kind of need to be opened up, uh, a little bit more air, a little bit more humidity. Um, your eggs are gonna tell you everything. Uh, we'll get into that uh, when I have more eggs and maybe if I run into any issues, I'll go ahead and talk about that too. Uh, don't toss your moldy eggs. I'll just touch base on that too, just don't do that. This is what it looks like closed. And also when you hatch babies, you can kind of do one of these where it's like, but um, only a um, hard wiki like that. So super simple build. Took me maybe two and a half hours. Um, got another one down there. Gonna do a few more and a few more rack systems going up. Everything's a mess. Thanks for watching.